So I didn't know or think they would ever redefine Sun Teams again in the same generation. Sun Teams had always been good, but not on par with water. To go into this generation, where it's absolutely the best weather out there, basically because of Protosynthesis and the Paradox Pokemon, but also the lack of proper water types. And then they introduced the water types that works in the sun, and all of a sudden, we got one of the best Sun Sweepers in the game. Like, normally, I, I recommend a, a terror type of these type of mods, but with the water dragon type in, I probably won't. You only weak to fairy and dragon, and while I would say that a terror type steel would be nice, I honestly wouldn't just, nah, nah, let it be. It's a phenomenal type, and I don't see the reason of actually doubling down on anything. And quite frankly, he, he doesn't need to. This guy definitely doesn't need to. Because he packs a solid amount of stats. It is really balanced, but it's very defined what it can do. A fair bulk, 99 HP, 91 and 83 in its defenses. It's fair. 83 is low its stats and it won't be physically active. It can do a physical set. We're gonna dive into that a little bit later. But that's not where I use this guy. And then you got the 125 special attack. This guy is a nuke. And combined with 109 in speed, and you get a really, really nasty mod. It's not only speedy, it hits hard, and it's bulk enough to theoretically set up. Which makes it a bit unfortunate that being based on Sukune, that you won't be able to do the rescue or a call mine set on this guy because that would be nice. You don't get call mine, which makes this guy not as effective as you know a, a more tanky Pokemon. But at the same time, it is speedy and offensively more capable. So at the same time, I wouldn't be worried about it. But that's something to keep in mind. Now, something worth mentioning before even going into the sets are that Hydra Steel, which is walking wake synergy move um, doubles down or basically this is the only move that is based on water that actually gets powered up by sun which theoretically means that all of a sudden not only is well walking wake a sun team booster and can be very good in a sun team but also it is an anti-response to other sun teams as most sun teams tend to be weak to water and combined that being a great well, rain team mon because of that very same reason because due to that it's boosted by higher steam and it learns hurricane so really yeah it gets best of both worlds and will do them really good so the first set coming to mind is the obvious one and that is the life orb set in the sun or rain but more sun a higher steam flamethrower draco meteor together with an eevee spread of booster special attacks in the sun and then agility for the setup Basically, the special attack boost is so vast and combine that with Life Orb that combine or basically become an agility sweeper. You won't do the hefty damage that is needed for a clean sweep, but if the team is well down and a few hazards on the, on the line, this guy will put on the most amount of damage. And I even use it myself in some battles which are uploaded. And I'm very satisfied with this set because it pressures a lot of mons. If you get agility going, no Scarfer will be able to counterplay you, and that is a phenomenal feeling to have. Another set, which probably will be the more likely one, is the Wall Breaking set, which is going to run Chuck's Choice Specs or can run, run Life Orb 2. Uh, switch around your EVs so that your speed is now higher than your special attack, and you will boost your speed in the sun, or run your um, Quark Drive or whatever to boost your stats on a switching. Like I said, it's not as incredible but at the same time if you run this with specs um, you can actually run this with hurricane too and it will be phenomenal it can work well in a rain team it works fair enough in a sun team but basically like i said before this is more of the anti-response to other sun teams as you're just gonna spam hydro teams anyway and um, like i said i think it's the most common one because it is very clean cut will do and it works most of the time it is a very very reliable set it doesn't excel in anything but the thing it does, it does better than most other mods in the game. The last set is Dragon Dance set. The thing is, it's probably not as good as I want it to be, but I like the idea of a Dragon Dancer, and it's bulk enough to pull something like that off. Now, my EV spreads are based on boosting yourself in attack. If that's not a worry for you, because it has very poor attack, then I would recommend a fully jolly max speed set and just boost use life orb instead of booster energy uh, i just like to boost your energy and then set up directly with waterfall outrage low kick um dragon dance here will allow you or basically your speed 92 base so yeah you need to dance up like i said you're definitely bulky enough to pull some of that off and combine that with maybe a potential of you know, hurting stuff i'll just say as it is 
It's not a great set, but you can do it. I trust you to pull this one off. So yeah, that's gonna be my coverage of The Walking Wake. I really like Paradox over here and I think it's a great concept. I'm just... I like the whole anti-response weather team and it's going to be one of the more unique aspects about this generation and I really hope we get to see more of these interpretations. So that's it guys, always hope you get will find this useful. The links of the, of the sets are down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then as always, take care.